Hey guys, Kakarot197 again. This time I'm the review of the 1100 scale Master Grade Gym Sniper Custom from the Mobile Suit Variation Series. When it comes to the looks, Bandai did an overall great job of blending the retro style of the Gym Sniper Custom with the level of detail that one would expect from a modern Master Grade. So it has all that retro flair while still managing to look rather deadly. Combine that with a really smooth color scheme that's one of the best I've seen on any gym and we've got a real winner on our hands. My only two complaints being that because of the added bulk on the legs, the feet do look rather small and that there's a really ugly seam line on the back. Back to the positive side now. It manages to accomplish all of this beauty while only requiring two stickers. One nice shiny metallic bronze one for the main camera and one for the back camera. Both of which aren't really necessary because underneath we have the same clear orange as for the visor. Being that it is entirely up to you whether or not you want to use these. And being a master grade we of course also get a sheet of clear marking stickers and a sheet of rub transfers allowing you to customize your gym sniper custom and its beauty only gets better on the inside, featuring a customized Gym 2.0 frame. And no, that wasn't just a bad pun. Unlike most remolds, this thing actually improves on its original model, featuring a new body that eliminates the inner detail of the core block, but now has a new joint. And it connects a lot more securely to the lower body too. Other main changes are of course the head that no longer has the Vulcan guns and the lower legs. So let's check out the articulation of this amazing frame with the armor back on. Starting off with the head which is on a double joint allowing for some nice forwards and backwards movement. Up nicely like that and down all the way like that thanks to the extra hinge joint which is going to come in really handy for sniping poses. What's also going to be very handy for the sniping is the visor that can go down, back up, and the articulation doesn't end there because this antenna will also go forwards and backwards, which was kind of unexpected for an antenna. What was also a really cool touch was this hatch here on the shoulder, allowing the arm to go up slightly higher than it could on the Gym 2.0 or the Gundam 2.0. So really a cool sign of the Gym Sniper Custom improving on its original design. The arms will of course rotate around all the way on their peg, go forwards really nicely out like that, will rotate around below the shoulder, we get a double jointed elbow and there's some really nice moving parts on the back, it goes all the way up like that. Then the hands are technically on a double ball joint because inside of the wrist there's a ball joint and then the hand itself is also on a ball joint for some really good mobility. Then the hands, they are also in an extra peg going down like that all the way up. Not quite as much because, well, there's that hand guard up there. Then all of the fingers is where this hand really shines. Each finger individually is on a ball joint. And even though the lower three ones are molded together, you can separate them and they will be perfectly fine thanks to that ball joint. On top of that, the four main fingers all have an extra hinge for some really good posability with the weapons. Talking about the weapons, we also have a peg on the hands, which will make sure that those weapons aren't going anywhere. Onto the body itself, and this is where, once again, we see how the gym custom, the gym sniper custom, really improved on the regular gym and the Gundam, at least in terms of model kits. We have, as usual with the Master Grades, the opening cockpit, slides open, reveals the little pilot inside, and then the waist goes side to side, forwards on a single joint, and backwards on a double joint. Then we have an extra hinge at the bottom that is also connected with the front skirts and the side skirts for a really smooth backwards movement. And this goes way further back, and also to the side than the gym and the Gundam 2.0 ever could. And of course also side to side. On the back, we don't really get a lot of movement from the backpack. Fortunately, we do get a lot of movement from the back skirts, allowing the legs to go backwards, 
all the way and forward all the way. Then they get also, also really nicely outwards and will also rotate around. The knees are on a double joint and even though there aren't any sliding armor panels, we do get some really cool working pistons. And we get even more pistons once we get to the feet. There are two in the back and two in the front. And something that was kind of surprising was this ankle guard setup. Rather than moving on these pieces, they actually hinge at the top, which is um, unique. And then they reveal these very cool working pistons. Go up nicely like that, backwards, rotate around. Somewhat limited by the pistons, but I will gladly give up the more crazy articulation for those awesome pistons. And then the feet are also jointed themselves. We'll go up nicely like that. And there's this toe joint that will also go up and down, which looks quite painful. And at the bottom, we get two additional thrusters. I think it's sufficient to say that the Gym Sniper Custom takes full advantage of the Gym 2.0 frame and even improves upon it. On to the accessories and oh my god Gundam, do we get a lot of them. A Hyper Bazooka, R4 type beam rifle, folding beam handgun, twin beam gun, beam spray gun, box beam saber with two beam saber blades and a shield. Starting off with its most iconic piece of equipment, the R4 type beam rifle. The connection with the hand could be more secure, but this is only an issue when you're trying to pose this awesome rifle. It can also be stored on the back by folding the stock and pulling out the barrel and clicking it underneath. Next up is the box beam saver that is mounted onto the right arm, or if you switch the arm pieces, the left arm, or if you don't like it, neither arm because you also get the second regular arm piece. And yes, you can technically take out the beam saber and put it into the hand. It just looks a bit funny because it's so short. Whichever option you choose, you get two light pink beam sabers, of which you only get to use one. The beam spray gun looks very similar to the one we get with the regular Gym 2.0, but it now features a hole on both sides that will accommodate this piece, allowing you to store the beam spray gun on either side skirt or when you decide to put this piece into the slot on the lower legs, also either lower leg. The twin beam gun unsurprisingly does everything the same as the regular beam spray gun except with two barrels for double the firepower. However, we only get one of those connection pieces for the legs and one of those connection pieces for either the beam spray gun or the twin beam gun, meaning that you can only have one of them stored on the Gym Sniper Custom at the same time. But hey, it's not like Bandai advertised that you could have both on at the same time, right? Oh shit. Moving along quickly, the folding beam handgun, which is a very boxy design, also fits great into the hands and comes with its own holding bracket that goes on either arm's shield hole. Personally, I would have also liked an option to attach it to either the side skirts or the lower legs, as you can do with one of the previously mentioned guns. And the last weapon that we're getting is the bazooka. Providing the gym sniper custom with the extra firepower needed to take out ships or companies that don't fulfill their promises. It features a movable handle and just as the beam sniper rifle, it can also be stored on the back. For defensive purposes, we get the standard issue shield, featuring a sliding track, rotating arm brace, a movable and holdable handlebar, and last but not least, a small blast shield. Also, you might be thinking that this is some kind of newly molded shield, but no, it's actually just the regular Gym 2.0 shield without the star on it. Other accessories include a detailed standing pilot figure, an Action Maze 2 connector, and lots. And lots. And lots of junk parts. As always, the inevitable question is, do you want to buy this? 
Absolutely! Leaving preferences for looks aside, I can say for sure that out of all of the retail available Master Grade Gyms, this one gives you by far the most bang for your buck, eclipsing all previous gyms in amount of accessories and articulation for only a small premium at 4,000 yen. Combine that with a really solid color scheme and this kit is a total winner whose small issues we can totally forgive. But never forget, with all the love that Banai has been showing the gym, it really makes me excited to see what their next gym is going to be. A real great vanilla gym, a high grade tool century gym sniper custom, a master grade gym light armor, or maybe they'll surprise us and release an aqua gym. Or something I'm still waiting for, a master grade gym sniper custom version Katoki. As was foretold in the Kerero Gunso movie. Well, only time will tell. And then, I'll tell you. So be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And now, first size comparisons. First of all, next to some of his colleagues of the Grips War, during which the Gym Sniper Custom didn't really do that well, the Gundam Mark II and the Hazel Custom. And finally, here he is next to some of his colleagues from when he was in his heydays. The Jim Cannon and the Jim Sniper 2. And that's all for this review, and see you all next time.